Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Having uh, committed a little bit of tree murder lately in the attempt to save a few of these trees that the cold knocked out, this one and this one in particular you saw in the last video, I am going to now whitewash them. There's some of the remnants of the of the uh, limbs and things. I'm going to whitewash them using the Ivy Organics product. I, prefer, I really like that product. Uh, so let's get started and show you what we're going to do here. This is a reed avocado here. Uh, just got battered. Uh, and I've been told I can't grow reeds out here in Lake Elsinore, and I've probably killed a few of these trying to prove them wrong. And they're proving me right. So coming in, we have an open gap here I just cut. I don't know if we can see that real good. So what we're going to do is seal that up with this. Come in and whitewash the limb. Now I whitewashed this out in the, in the yard when it was planted. So it's got some from previous seasons on it. I just want to come back and touch it up. I'm trying to get this to come back. I'm losing focus again. Sorry about that. So this is mainly a touch up on this one. I do have some budding starting to come back on this one, so I'm hopeful that this reed comes back. So let's go in here and get this touched up. Got some moringas down here. Probably gonna get a little bit of this too. A little bit of the whitewash on them. So just getting this touched up here and let's get uh, a little more on here. Whoop. Laying on a little thick there. All the little cuts and things I made, the fresh cuts, everything that's going to be sun exposed, I want to have some whitewash on. I'll show you a few other trees also. And this is the Jim avocado I did a video on a few days ago, how we're trying to save this one and all the whitewash I've done on this one. I've even cut it back even more since that video. So we come in here and we're just trying to, as you can see there, some whitewash on that open wound, on the living tissue that's still there, as much as there's going to be. And then this this uh, tree, tree murder episode uh, may even get more later, but uh, I think I've cut four or five feet off the height of this and a bunch of branching and some dead stuff. So hopefully I can still, there's a little bit I missed. Hopefully I can still get uh, this thing to pop a little and come back to life. Let's go out and show you stuff out in the, in the small little setup out there. This is my surprise avocado that's doing really well out here. Whitewashed this last year. And coming in show you the growth on this you can see where we wait wash the main stem and then the growth we growth we've had on this stem from here all the way up about three feet from uh, this last season so that hasn't been whitewashed yet we're gonna hit that lots of new growth on this this is planted in a raised bed using uh, well draining Gary's top pot soil I added some sand to it and it's starting to finally flower. Did not flower last year, but it's starting to flower now. We're starting to see the beginnings of the, of the flowering on this one. Ooh, there's the enemy to one of these trees right there. That guy's going to have to go. But I'll, uh, I'll whitewash this and we'll come back and take a look at it. Up top too, where there are some bare, there are some bare limbs, we'll get that also. I wanted to let you in on another good tip when whitewashing. And you've got growth like this coming in. Is to come up with the brush like this and, and stroke up the tree like this so you don't tear any leaves off. Because if you stroke down, you'll start ripping leaves off. So you always want to, you know, in the bare areas you can get it, but always stroke so you're not ripping the leaves. You know, keeping the, keeping the brush going straight up and you get the leaves, it's okay. I don't do ever do a real clean job of doing this, but you want to come up like this as you're whitewashing. That way you get, you know, 
you get this stuff on the stems and you don't knock the leaves off. So now that I've finished off whitewashing, this is a seedling, a reed seedling that I've had out. Uh, it's been a full summer last year, full summer sun, no protection during the winter, and now it's getting its first whitewash. This is the north side I'm on. And you don't have to be real clean with this. This is going to get on the leaves and things like that. Let's walk over to the surprise now. This big limb I showed you earlier. Now the one thing I don't know is the uh, when it's flowering, if the if the essential oils in the IV organics deter bees. I'm not sure. I haven't heard anything about it. I'll talk to uh, Charles Malky if I can, the developer and promoter of IV Organics, and see what he says. So I left a few of the a few of the flowering areas untouched, where the flowers are coming in. I didn't put it there. I want to make sure that uh, I can see bee action. And I put it on a few others on the other trees. My over here, I have a holiday. You can see I got a little sloppy with. But up top where it's going to start flowering here real quick, I kept them off here too. I'll talk to Charles Malky from IV Organics, see if that helps. But I just wanted to show you real quick how uh, to get uh, whitewash onto your avocado trees before it gets too hot. And that you don't have to do it perfect. I mean, there's splatter, and that splatter helps the leaves too when there's a lot of direct sunlight. Please like the video. Ask me any questions if you have them. Share it to your friends if they have avocado trees. I'm sure they'd like to see how to protect them and how they do out here. And subscribe if you could. And I'll get you some more avocado videos as the season goes on. Thanks, have a good day.